The sea of life. So I wanted to share this quick leadership image with you. I gotta buzz my head. It's basically the idea that life is an ocean and we ride the waves, we cope with the waves, we swim, but you can't really determine the destination. It's not like the whole linear road. It's very organic, very dynamic, very just crazy, crazy. If you couldn't tell by now already, I'm a big fan of leadership images and just the idea of seeing things as less distinct or distinct representations of the fundamental life truth. And it's just kind of fun to think about. So this is one of the biggest leadership image ideas that I've provided. It really provides a context for how life works and just the crazy diverse and organic way that it all envelops. It just happens. The horizon of the ocean is all an illusion. It's basically the idea that you can always see from A to B, but you can't really understand how you get there. And you can't see beyond it. You can only see so far in life of what's going to happen. You can't really predict what is truly phenomenal and great. Uh, schools of fish, people will school up together. You can join different communities. That's another cool idea, just people grouping together. We ride calm water and we ride rough water. We try to take shortcuts where there are jagged rocks that can sometimes sabotage what we're aiming for. One of the funniest analogies is that like video games, you have to keep pressing a specific button to swim. So life is kind of like you have to keep on starting anew and pressing that same button over and over again to keep yourself on the surface, to keep yourself swimming. If you kind of give up and let in, and you can slowly drown. Sounds kind of scary. That's because it is. But you can't really resist ocean currents. You can't really resist where the ocean's calm and where the ocean is rough. You have to kind of live without resistance and more adapt to the winds and adjust your sails and just kind of flow undetermined destination, which is why you should do the things you enjoy as soon as possible. Because who knows where I'm going to be in five years, let alone who knows where I'm going to be in a year or what's going to happen. Then the idea of safety nets, like when you're out in the ocean, you have your equipment that kind of is a safety net in case something bad happens. We have to prepare ourselves to be ready for those situations. You have these experiences that are your life anchors moments where you understand how to adapt and how to make sure that you're ready for those other situations to come. You can keep building this. You could draw like an entire wall of this and just build this idea forever because it's so applicable. Ships aren't meant to stay in the harbor. Ships are meant to go out and sail. So yeah, that's the message. Just get out there, do stuff, get interested. Don't worry about being interesting. That's my like theme this week that I've thought about a little bit. So people are worried about what to do and how to do it. Just go. Sail. <laughs> Glorious, gloriousness and wretchedness dwell together because they're the, di they're the two sides of the same coin. They're the dichotomy. We're all, we're all going to get hurt, right? We get to choose who or how, but not what or when. So what do you think about this? What, what are your thoughts? I really am curious to just know what people think and how people see things. And I just care. Not that I care too much what other people think, but just sharing a window, it's a pretty phenomenal thing to just create, share, and connect, and reflect, and inspire, and all the things. As always, I'd like to hear your thoughts down in my diaphragm right below. Thank you for watching. My name is Matt Polka. Everybody, Polka, trying to make videos on a consistent schedule. Schedule. My schedule wouldn't allow it. Keep creating an awesome self. Keep living without resistance and keeping these big contextual analogies just in plain sight or on in hindsight, right? Stay happy, stay humble, stay grateful. Plenty more ideas where that came from. Especially in front of this massively bright sun. I can't touch the sun, but the sun touches me with its radiation.